click on the subscribe button to watch more videos on my youtube channel and also click on this bell icon to get all notifications on your mail hi friends in this video i am going to explain about the geometrical constraint settings and the auto constraint settings already explained in my previous tutorial this is the drawing also already created i want to open this drawing and then the drawing is already created all the, all of the drawings are explained in my previous tutorials of the geometric constraints how to perform the all the operation already explained in my previous tutorials you can also uh, observe on my previous tutorials i want to explain about this uh, uh, auto constraints and the show height and the show all and the height all and the geometric how to set the geometrical constraints i will explain in this tutorial you can observe on the geometrical parametric uh, palette you can observe the auto constraint the geometrical geometric and the show head and the show all and hide all how to hide the objects and show the objects this tutorial is very helpful for the beginners and let's get started and see you can observe on the screen all of the drawings are created i want to uh, auto constraints so want to if you, the drawing is already constrained or if not constrained also select all the objects and simply click on the auto constraint option with the perpendicular uh, lines and the um, parallel lines and the horizontal vertical lines or or of the tangents you can appears with the tangent positions are there with the um, all of the proper positions you can observe on the screen see i am selecting the show height uh, command and by using the show head and select the show and the hide on reset option you can observe on the command line prompt if you click on the hide option the constraints are all of the hided uh, i will explain again one of for one of the example for go on to the show hide for example see auto constraint you, you want to constrain again simply click on the auto constraint and click on the constraint select the object and select the circle and select the second circle and constrain the select objects and click on enter it will show the total and the show hide and the reset i want to hide these objects you can observe the two constraints are hided um, you can observe the two you want to give the auto constraint again you, give, you can check the auto constraint option the all are highlighted you want to show all see the show all the hide all all the constraints are hided with these options you want to show the all of the constraints simply click on the show all and uh, I don't. These are the simple tutorial for the beginners, and I want to explain about the geometrical settings. If the geometrical settings are not uh, perform the operations in uh, in this drawings, you want to change the settings on the geometrical settings. I will explain you how to check the marks and how to the inter geometrical constraint should off and the perpendicular parallel sum of the R select the all you want to clear all you can also clear all you can observe on the screen one of the dialog box will appear that this is the constraint settings you want to select all so you want to take the individual only like perpendicular horizontal sum of the three or four you can uncheck the marks like this and you want to clear all you can clear all you can select all of the perpendiculars and all of the constraints are display settings are available you can uh, you want to infer geometrical constraints and only display constraints in the current plane also available with the constraint bar transparency also available the uh, transparency is nothing but uh, it is showing the transparency objects um, you want to increase the transparency it will uh, show dark and go on to the dimensional option you can uh, observe the name and expression and the d and d1 is equal to d2 plus d3 like only you want to create the name uh, something name dimension you want to give the only the value can also give the value and in the in the between in the below the show lock icon for annotational constraints and the show hide dynamic constraints for select objects are also available and the auto constraint you can observe the auto constraint um, has different collinears already if there you can different types of individuals objects are 
individual concerns are available you can apply the objects to this priority and the con constraint type and the apply and the tangent objects must share the intersection points and the parapetal option must share an intersection points both are will on you can on or off you can distance and the angle also you can change as, uh, as compared with the objects already explained in my previous and the move up and down and the select all and the clear all and the reset also available in this auto constraint you can auto constraint is very helpful to all of the constraint in a single format you can constrain the all of the object you can also perform the individual uh, operations also you can perform by using the by priorities as nine priorities are available the nine uh, priorities already explained in my previous tutorials in the individual videos this is the tutorial for the beginners of the auto constraint and geometrical settings of the parametric uh, palette uh, this is the tutorial um, of the objects thanks for watching my tutorial